We're gonna be replacing the weather seal to this garage door, and while I do this, hopefully I don't look too ridiculous. Let's party. Okay, so the idea here that we wanna do is we wanna replace this weather seal to this garage door. And the thing that you really wanna take into account is they just recently painted this home. So I'm gonna go in with the blade in here to make sure that I do not ruin the paint. I've let the customer know that he's probably gonna to have to do some touch up. Nevertheless, I just wanted to make sure that I do my best and at the same time have a nice, clear, flat surface so I put on or apply the new weather seal. Now I have a blade in here. There we go. Nice and smooth. There we go. That's not too bad right there, actually. Probably could come up from the bottom, so that way, should be wearing gloves. Want to do this as safe as possible without ruining the paint. Don't ruin the paint, because you'll get it on camera. What we're going to do now is we're basically going to start taking off part of the seal. Got my safety gloves on. There we go. Very nice. Ah, beautiful. It's just going to come right off. At this point, what I like to do is I like to take either a hammer. I'm just gonna go ahead and start hammering or taking out these nails. I wanna do my best to make sure that I'm not leaving any nails because last thing you want is your customer to have a nail in his tire. It's just a way to do good customer service so that way they're not having to deal with it. Okay, now. Okay, do we have anything here? We're gonna do the exact same thing now on the other side. Go ahead and take the knife and just run it through there. And so if you can tell, this is actually almond weather seal. And uh, so we had installed the door for the customer, but there was no white weather seal for him. So we just ended up going on, knowing that as he was gonna have it painted later, we were gonna basically come and replace it with white. So now that we got the white weather seal, we should be good to go. Go, nice and smooth. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on that top seal get in there. The idea is you want to you want to take your time with replacing the seal. And maybe some guys wouldn't care, you know, so much. They'd be like, I don't care. You know, I'm having to come out here having to replace the seal, messing up the paint, part of the game, which is true. But people appreciate when you go above and beyond. Let's pick up these nails. So I brought my magnetic wand and normally what I have is basically like a magnetic arm that I'm able to use on jobs to pick up nails, but uh, this'll, this'll work. This should work just fine. There we go, see that? The nails, gotta be prepared. Now more than likely I'm gonna have to redo the limits to this garage door because sometimes when you put on a new seal, it's gonna probably act different with the new seal to this door. It's just one way I do it. I mean, if you have a better way of doing it, especially you garage door guys, please chime down below because in this community, we're just helping each other out, letting you know what are the tricks of the trade to help us, you know, kind of do a better job, I guess. I didn't really even check if my camera was straight. Probably not, but oh well. So now we have a clean slate to work with. Excellent. The principle and the old rule is measure twice, cut once. So I've got the old seal here. Measure it and kind of see where, where we're at. Okay, so that's about 177 inches and a half. I don't want to cut too much off but I know that roughly around here, this is where my marker will be. So grab my pencil, just mark right there. You're gonna grab your cutting shears and these cutting shears I've had for a very long time. Just cut off right there, just so that way we don't cut too much off. And if we do, again, it's gonna make for a really good video because I'm a dummy for cutting without making the right measurements. I like to start with the top seal and it just allows me to kind of set the basis of, uh, of where we're cutting. Seal needs to be this way, so it's very important. Make sure your lip to the seal is to the door. You do not want to put the lip this way because that's the wrong way to do it. And of course you can use any type of nail gun. I use this DeWalt nail gun. This is my favorite DeWalt. Well, it's my only DeWalt nail gun, but I use this one and uh, you can use a hammer. I would not recommend going with screws because screws will break the seal. One of the things I like to do is I like to make sure that my seal is right up against the edge. Oh, near miss. 
Okay, so basically the edge of the wood here is my guide. So I'm making sure that I am staying aligned with that edge. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna have to cut here, pretty much right where our marker is at. And we will cut as straight as possible. Oy. Yes, perfect. So now we're gonna focus on putting the side perimeter seals to the door. Probably gonna be best to measure the actual height. So that's gonna be the way to go because I got them mixed up. So there we have 82, I would say 82 and 3 eighths for this side. So 82 inches and 3 eighths, which is almost seven feet. Eighty two and three eighths. Two and three eighths. Make sure we got a good. All right. Two and three eighths, roughly right there. Go measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Well, there you go. So what did we do there? We messed up. That's right. Well, I did it. I did not measure twice. I ended up just cutting and I should have measured twice, but I didn't. What does that mean? It means I'm gonna have to get another seal because I am a dummy. A dummy, 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 dummy. All right, so we just make our mark right there. Measure again before we cut. All right. I like to take a little bit off of here just cut off from the side and then we can line up measure up very good we'll go ahead and put it on so i like to start from the top there and then i go back down make sure that we are aligned up against the edge of the wood and then you can put as many nails as your heart's delight and now i gotta go and do that one so we have our piece now. So we're gonna be basically tacking this on. Again, principle, measure twice, cut once. So I know that I have from the floor, have from the floor to the top there, 83 and 7 eighths. So this is a little taller for some reason. That's kind of like the proper way to measure, but the lazy way to do it is basically Take your seal, place it up where you want to put it. Then you're going to take your pencil and you're just going to mark where you want to cut. And I don't always like doing that specifically. I, I prefer to take, you know, concise measurements. Very good. I got my mark. I'm going to go ahead and cut made. There we go. Beautiful. We will just align like we did before. If you start from the top, then you're able to just basically tack on on the bottom here easily. And, and put as many nails as you want. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure everything looks good. I'm probably gonna put some more nails on the top, but you see where I'm probably just gonna put a little bit of caulking there. And I'm definitely gonna put a little bit of caulking up over here so that way that seal doesn't look too open and then i'm going to take some simple green and i'm just going to clean our seal all the way down and we should be good to go very good tap this off
So there it is, we replaced the weather seal to this garage door, and again, I probably look completely ridiculous doing it, but what's YouTube good for if you can't make fun of yourself, right? And uh, the customer was really happy. The seal, it looks much better. He had almond seal on this door. Again, that's all we could provide him at the time when we did this install. So, you know, a few months later, we were able to get some white seal for him and pretty good to go. So if you guys have any questions with regards to what we did here, please chime down below. We'd love to be able to hear it. And more importantly, if you're a garage or guy and you have knowledge within the industry, go ahead and chime down below. We'd love to hear your thoughts as well. Of course, we have a number of other videos on this YouTube channel. So let's go ahead and keep this party going. Check out one of these videos right here. As always, I want to thank you all for partying with me. Y'all stay safe.